Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So we're here at the official Facebook page of the game. So as you can see, or you guys have seen yesterday, there is already an announcement of uh, a new figure dropping, which is Vivian. Um, I wasn't able to um, record this yesterday because I had terrible internet access yesterday. So um doing this now and doing a review on vivian so is she worth pulling for this will probably you know um make your decision or you will probably be making your decision based on the review that i'm doing right now so vivian as you can see here she's going to be with tenma so that will play on your decision as well if you're going to pull for her and she is a specialist Okay, so let's take a look at um, the Japanese um, review of her and let's see how she will fare with um, Southeast Asia. Okay, so for the link of this um, J Japanese version of uh, the guide, I'm going to put uh, it in the description of this video so that you may see it um, after this video. So. Just to go over Vivian's evaluation and performance. So go through the important parts. So in terms of evaluation, she's an 8 out of 10. So definitely you, you're going to be needing her in some of the stages of the game. Unless you have somebody that you could use um, in replacement of her. So definitely, as you can see here, for the game modes... Um, she's even, she's, um, she's at the four mostly, and she's a five in PVE. So mostly most of the stages, especially if there are a lot of minions or a lot of enemies, um, on the side of the grid, on the other side of the grid, then you'll be, be able to use her. Okay. So also going forward. So let's check out, uh, let's, let's check out. <laughs> not take out let's check out vivian's performance here so for her skills so attack skill range six attack speed is i think moderate not common priority is given to the front enemy in the same horizontal row so attacks the enemy in the, f in the, the first in that row throws a shuriken that deals additional damage every three uh normal attacks so additional damage after the third Marks the target and one random enemy at the same time. So the mark is actually important because the mark will eventually give additional damage uh, later. Okay, I'll, we'll discuss that. So in um, level up effects, you have two normal attack damage uh, will be increased by two and three up to 50%. Um, for her ultimate skill, energy is 40 uh, recovery six per second. The effect is run randomly. It's unlock one debuff for all allies and randomly attack enemies four times. Okay, so the debuff here is actually crucial because there are some opponents, especially in um, certain stages, that you'll have a hard time clearing. You'll need this debuff you also need this to take away silence if you encounter a sakura along the way so this is why she is really important that the the debuff for all allies is actually very important because this is not random this is for all okay and the randomly attack enemies four times is also big so the lesser the enemies um, the, the more damage uh, it will be concentrated on a few enemies or even one so level of effect so level two and three if a level two first if a random attack does not hit the same target the damage is increased by 50 percent so it's a 150 percent damage if um, the random attack is not on the same target so it speaks for itself increase the number of random attacks by one so again a lot of damage for this girl um as a she, she basically has two you know has two sides one is the debuff the other one is multiple attacks to random multiple attacks large damage to random enemies okay then let's go to her passive skill the normal attack and the ultimate of itself explode the mark given by the normal attack so 
if you can remember the normal attack gives um a mark to the one that you're attacking and a random enemy so additional damage um by the mark um and increase the critical damage caused by the seal by 80 percent so that's a lot of damage mark all enemies at the beginning of the battle so this is also one of the things that she is going to be good at because at the start she'll be dealing tremendous amount of damage as long as you unlock the first level of effect and unlock your debuff and mark enemies with debuff okay so this one i'm not sure how to interpret this but uh, unlock your debuff so she already has debuff for the ultimate probably another another debuff for the passive skill and mark enemies with debuffs she probably has a debuff for herself it's not indicated here so we'll have to check out her skills once um once she is released here in southeast asia so for exclusive or um her special skill Increase the damage to normal attack targets by 12%. Increase your critical rate by 10. Increase critical damage by 10. And increases damage dealt to normal targets by 18%. So those are the things that she brings. At this point, I'm leaning towards summoning her because of the debuff alone. That That is very important at this point. Um, if you don't want to get her, probably you should get her sometime if you do, if you don't have much currency to pull for her. But let's proceed first to, to more on who is she going to be good with. So recommended formation character, we don't have deer yet. So we'll have to be contented with using the other combos that we can um, see in this recommendation. So Yuna is actually going to be good with her. Most of us, though, don't have a high level Yuna. So I'm going to skip her. As on, Yeah, Yuna. This is not Yuna. This is... Uh, I forgot her name. This one. The This one. This is Yuna. Okay. So for this one, the regular Yuna, attack performance is greatly improved at the beginning of battle. Um, this is going to be Vanguard suitable for short-term formation. I don't know what it is. This means um, Sakura is going to be good with her as well. Strengthen the attack performance of all allies in early stage of battle. Silence interferes with the mystery of the enemy. So she's going to be supporting they're going to be supporting each other basically and for me i think the most um crucial pairing would be zhao yu because of um the attack speed buff that she's going to give um vivian because vivian of course is going to give marks uh if you can remember from her basic attack and also um gives her recovery skill so for her equipment definitely um crit rate i say and crit damage if you have crit damage or fury set um this is not, this is not called fury set in southeast asia but the crit damage set um if i think if you don't have crit damage set you can bring um attack set to bring with her that is what i use with the harriet anyway and it works wonders so that is it i won't discuss the others the other badges that she'll need i will definitely have a in-depth review of her once she drops and i see all of her skills really word for word so she has um one um costume change um as of the moment but again let's go back to the matter at hand so am i recommending her um okay i'm recommending her if you have enough if you have enough um currency to pull for her diamonds if you have enough then pull for her she'll she will give tenma a different um different side in terms of damage um they don't really have um except for except for um except for zarola they don't really have that type of figure that is multiple damage so again zarola i think she will complement zarola with tenma they can do very much damage and she does have that debuff guys that debuff is very important so for me if you don't have enough currency um i don't you know i won't i wouldn't recommend for you getting her because you might not get her so i'd, I'd rather you save that currency and if you have enough you pull before the event ends 
But if you have enough currency to summon for her, then please do. She is going to be crucial in your lineups moving forward. Clearing content. Um, I think she's going to be good. Um, so, so far, that is my recommendation for her. Um, she's not going to be really, really OP, but definitely she's going to fill a void in some of the teams that you are need, you know, are constructing and need um, some of her skills. Definitely, the, the debuff again is going to be is going to be used more often. The multiple hits, yes, they're going to be good, but they're supplementary damage until I see how much damage she can dish out. Uh, how big is is really her damage she's actually a specialist so i'm actually worried that her damage might not be that enough unless if her damage is like um is like uh what you call this is like uh, xantha came which is ridiculous but i'm not sure really if um yeah she's tenma then she is a specialist i'm not really sure if she's going to have enough damage but again um she's going to be worth it for your team as long as you have the resources to get her i'm not really sure who's going to be next um if i knew who's going to be next then i would have a solid recommendation for you guys but at this point um i think uh vivian and ai hinohara will be together out i think because usually they release two in in you know in 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 the figure launches uh, usually by Friday, but again I might be wrong. They might release another one. But in terms of currency summoning, you won't have the same for you know either uh, a, 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 I you know, Hara or um, this girl Vivian. So anyway, guys, that is my um, recommendation for you guys. If you have enough, then summon for her. Um, I think she's going to, you know, she brings a different dimension to um, lineup building and probably give you other, you know, um, other other avenues where you could clear really some of the stages that you are struggling in. She is very good in PvE, so I'm sure you'll be clearing out a lot of stages when you are or you are using her in her, in that in your teams. Okay, guys, so that is it. So hopefully you got something from this guide. And anyway, guys, always take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.